Hello? 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 Please allow me to introduce myself. Hello? My name is... Would you like to know? I am the gale of words, which can make and break you. I am the gale, with the wings of an eagle, the sharp claws of a lion, and the tail of a scorpion. Yes, you heard it right. I can be any animal, but most of all, I am a reptile. Hello? Hello? Please allow me to introduce myself. Hello? My name is... Would you like to know? I'm the Prince of Light. I'm the Morning Star. And the Sun of the Dawn again and again and again always repeats the same question. Help me in my breathing and free me from trivial things. The breath you gave me is not enough to survive. And it all comes down to surviving. Surviving with one's own breath Though I know in advance that this leads to the ultimate loneliness or to turning blue from suffocation. It's me. It's me. I'm back from death. I'm back from death. And on the way to the parting, to the sound of a thousand cameras, I, 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 the seductive self-portrait of a monstrous landscape, constantly film my blue eyes in that infamous look, that look, that begetter and eradicator studies people in their flight. I have seen these eyes, I have seen my body in these eyes so many times, over so many years, at so many events. Because I creep into your body, through your ears, creep into your soul, through your eyes, and speak the words I want to use through your mouth. I see myself over and over again. It's dead easy to be known. But I live today, after my death. And then it is incredibly difficult to become unknown. I'm always here. I can't help it. Otherwise, today has never been. If I'm not here, I have never been. Always everywhere with my blue eyes. Although other possesses my eyes, I don't have them. I never have them. Everything I do, whether I like it or not, is meant for another. Everything I do belongs to another. And still I remain. And still I keep filming my eyes. And still I keep repeating myself. I love the repetition. Everything I do, whether I want to or not, is intended for someone else. And still I keep on dancing. Because that is all that I can. I love the repetition. Images. Images 
images, images. See them with a different feeling, images, 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 images. Some say images have no feeling, and still I keep repeating myself, and still I remain. What I cannot think, what I cannot see, I cannot want. Yearning for equality, I know what is impossible. It would make me independent and mean I cease to exist. I keep on choosing to travel the tracks true and false I have followed before, to discover something, to try to learn to see what I should recognize, to experience something or what I have forgotten, to crush those masks behind which no one is waiting, that no one is the someone that forces us to realize that we prove to be exactly what we think, we definitely are not the I and I to which the shadow of the day compels us is replaced by the I and nothing. Nobody is innocent, it is carnival time. And the kisses are never blue. We drink ourselves silly. We snort ourselves rotten. We gorge ourselves to bursting. We get sick of the smell of turpentine and oil paint they used to decorate the walls of power at the eternal party of his and her highness. Transvestite. They call me a seducer too, imaginer, great dragon, old snake, lil horn, writer of this world, father of all lies, twister of facts, prince who is never to be trusted, king of the land of word and image, ruler of your shadow who are giving a state banquet in honor of Mr. and Mrs. Doppelganger on the occasion of the official masquerade of the protocol, with a short act on the trampoline by the princely acrobat, always in a full stomach. Double meaning. Life is a jungle. It is eat or be eaten. I float and dance. That is all I can do. Underground, my factory projects the deep blue sky, while my left eye looks at reptile files for the next scenario of my new film, and the right eye selects imprints of fossils for the new number of my interview. As is it written, so shall it be. And what is written is the true. True or not? On the top floor, my office screens the stars and the silver look. The stars know the power of the great blue silence of actors, those dying animals that lie and cheat in every form of change, in every form of consciousness. They betray the investigation of my schizophrenia, of my personality. That's why I was riddled with lead and survived. Since then I wear the flesh of a scarecrow on my head. It is my trademark. I am famous and I am admired. I am someone without qualities. I know no splintering of fragmentation, but I am polite and always say thank you. This makes it seem as if I predict the void. I'm always everywhere, like an angel, spiritual, created in a state of innocence, we have become what we are by the hand of the other. I am a blue angel, the angel of death. I am what I am, or what they say I am, a silent rigidity. I am the question, I am the answer, and never laugh. But do tell jokes about Sphinx. I float and dance. That is all I can do.
We have a certain similarity in our natural perfection, which reflects our fleeting beauty. We bow towards each other in adoration. Who creates whom? Who is the incarnation of whom? Life lets us sleep. Death keeps us awake. Our desire is that every existence has an end. My essential desire is to say nothing. I want to speak to say nothing, nothing else than nothing. And I say, thank you. I hear words and it seems as if they are not mine. That do not say what I did not want to say. I want to be someone without words, speechless. That detachment is fine. Maintain the distance without words. Keep a distance. That is the art. Always be everywhere. And always keep on missing. Missing everything and everyone. But still I want to remain polite. And once in a while stand still. And listen attentively to the things, to the people, to the questions of those people who stick things under my nose with a smell that turns my stomach and on which later only their own breath and answers can be heard. At such a moment, I think of that old cliché that always returns newly worded. If we all looked the same, we wouldn't play blue games. <sighs> but as I already said, I want to remain polite. And once in a while, stand still and look intently then it seems as if my deathly pale face reflects everything. My blue eyes adapt and seduce and fascinate everyone. I do not understand it at all. I am becoming uncertain time and again. All those people that admire me are more amazed than I. They look in my eyes and read my thoughts. They do everything in my place. All those people that look at me from close up. My face is teamed up by the unpleasant breathing. They breathe, yes, some of them breathe. And others stink. Then they ask in chorus wheezing, help me in my breathing and free me from trivial things the breath you gave me is not enough to survive and it all comes down to surviving surviving with one's own breath though i know in advance that this leads to the ultimate loneliness or to turning blue from suffocation they say before i can give any answer so I remain silent. What should one do with one's mouth if one does not speak? Open it! What should one do with one's tongue if one does not talk? Taste! Licking life! Eating everything that flies and crawls! Tasting his silence! Savor it! until he speaks the words I put in his mouth. I float and dance. That is all I can do. Sometimes they keep on looking at me for minutes or staring or they become seeing blind. I don't know. I don't know what possesses them. It seems as if they change. They mutate. I think they become animals. I float and dance. That is all I can do. Yes, 
animals, mostly reptiles, chameleons. Yes, chameleons they become, some big, other small, and I see that they are peeping at me through the narrow slit between their eyelids, and I see that they are multiplying and constantly adjusting to the colors and smells of their surroundings. Believe me, the stink of corpses I recognize. I smell chameleons, can have full breath, a rotten stink of undigested insects. At a moment like that, I don't know what to do. I'm certain, as always, I become even whiter than deathly pale. I turn cold and feel myself slowly stiffening. I'm always everywhere and always feel everything. I'm always doing nothing, yet I'm always at work. I play that and visit the living whom I seduce into silence and to see what I want to see. I am silent and look because it would be impolite to say anything if their bullet-like eyes could kill. I would have been riddled again though I am standing rooted to the ground. It feels as if I feel myself creeping away. No, it is more a stealing away, slowly, slow but discreet, I steal away with the unbearable stink of those animals in my nose. Sometimes it lasts for hours before I lose the smell of them. You try to go away as inconspicuously as possible, as far away as possible. I think they, they cannot see me anymore. I think that I have disappeared. Are you vanishing? Or is it working, the tribute you wrote to me and which is stitched in between skin and flesh under your armpits? You cannot exist without me. I see to it that it is exceeding hard to become unknown. And yet, the animals become angry and mean. It seems as if they are fighting a macabre struggle between life and suffering, between lying and cheating. They behave like frightened and skittish beings that flee in every direction without knowing why or where to. They flee. Their long, sticky tongues grab blindly in rage at everything they do not recognize, and uncontrolled, they begin to snort and hiss. I hear them crying and yelling and cursing. Pale cow, no good man, dirty tick, bloodsucker, Dracula, vampire, pale cow, no good man, dirty tick, bloodsucker, Dracula, vampire. I say thank you. It is so much fun I have to leave. I do not understand it at all. But why? Why? Why do people have to be so impolite? People can be so impolite, but why? Why do I have to experience again and again what I have forgotten? Why can no one remain indifferent in my presence or at least keep quiet? He who adheres to my will is my servant. My servant is my master. Why always that conflict between metaphor and literal event, between indefinability and uncertainty? I would like to be able to help those people. 
and could tell them they have to disguise their aggression and politeness. I wish I could say something to those people, without denying myself, without betraying myself, without turning traitor against the inner need of my essential desire to say nothing, nothing else than nothing. That is why I say to those people, we'll put you in the magazine, we'll put you in a movie, and don't worry about your eyes, we retouch anyone over 20. I am longing for people to see me as I am. Everyone who addresses me addresses themselves. Everyone who loves me loves themselves. Everyone that hates me hates themselves. That is my philosophy. I am longing for people to see me as I am. Everyone who addresses me addresses themselves. Everyone who loves me loves themselves. Everyone that hates me hates themselves. That is my philosophy. My philosophy is simple. From A to B and back again. I, 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 I am uninteresting. I am not searching. Everyone is searching. For what? For their own identity. For the genuine self who will protect me against what I am, against what I do. Perhaps the presence of others protects me against my own violence. Perhaps. Perhaps I'm dreaming. Perhaps I'm both culprit and victim. I float and dance. That is all I can do. Let me dance, the way dance should be. Brutality without brutality. Let me dance. Let me dance on the dead. Let me dance the dance of death. I'm nothing other than the last supper. The last supper that copies itself, constantly adapts to the colors of death. Sometimes red, sometimes purple, sometimes the silver look and yet always remains the same, the last supper in the blue. I float and dance, that is all I can do. I shall dance for you, riddled with bullets, till my body becomes a great tailored suit. I shall dance for you, convulsing in the news, till my face becomes a blue mask. No problem. There comes an end to every existence, and behind every mask hides a revealing emptiness for a new beginning. I am the survivor who has the knowledge of a mystery that wants to be solved, but in the end turns out to be nothing other than the mystery of someone who is fleeing from himself and seeks oblivion in submersion in the masses I want to forget myself and dance in the blue. I shall not leave you to your fate because I am an agent of mankind and of the heavenly court of law and rise above the height of the clouds and tumble down through the blue. I shall find you because I am the Lord of the flies and create flies for one day. <laughs>